Hi everyone, Minister James Price here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for all of the love and support that you have shown me, all the likes, the shares, the wonderful and the very encouraging comments. And thank you to everyone that has subscribed to this channel. I really do appreciate you guys for helping me get closer to my personal goal of 1,000 subscribers. I'm almost there. So thank you guys in advance before it even happens. I really do appreciate you guys tremendously. And I want to remind you that in the description underneath this video, I put my personal email. That way, if you have any questions or any concerns regarding any of my content, you can just reach out to me, send me an email. Now, people have done it in the past. And I like to believe that I've been able to help some people. I give scriptures. I pray for people. So truth be told, I'd be absolutely honored to help any of my brothers and sisters in Christ to just reach out. And I also want to remind you guys before I forget that I always use the King James Version of the Holy Bible in all of my videos because it's the most accurate version of the Holy Scriptures that we have translated into our language of English. And I also use the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Holy Bible. It's a free app. You can download the app. It gives you certain definition of certain words or phrases that you may not quite understand during your study time. So just make sure that you guys download that free app. I'm telling you, it'll help you tremendously. It helps me and I know it'll help you as well. And uh, I'm excited, guys. I'm, I'm so excited. It's been about a month. I had to get some things together in my life spiritually because... When you do try your best to do the will of God, here come our adversary, the enemy, the devil, trying to get you off track. And that's what the devil was doing. The devil was kicking my butt for a minute because I am literally trying my best to do the will of God. What I'm doing right now is serving him. He told me to start this channel to encourage and inspire others who have been through loss. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm encouraging and inspiring others. And I'm doing his will, so the enemy is going to come after me. And he definitely was coming after me, but, you know, I've been renewed. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord has helped me get some things in order, helped me push some people away out of my life that should not be there because he, he didn't call for them to be in my life. And uh, I'm just grateful. God is good. Hallelujah. And, um, you know, the name of this video, I'm going to call this video, uh, Satan weaponizes our fear to use it against us. That's a long title, but it is what it is. That's what I'm calling it. So I'm just grateful, man. God is good. And I want to give you guys the definition of fear because this video could be an hour long. But for the sake of time, I definitely will not make this video an hour because the, the attention span of adults in America are just eight seconds. That's it. I was surprised when I learned that, but it, it is what it is. Eight seconds. Hopefully you guys can hang around and give me about 10 minutes, 15 tops. But um, yeah, it is what it is, man. But if you look fear up in a dictionary, fear is Check this out, guys. I'm also going to give you the definition of fear and then some correlating words um, that that directly correlates to the word fear. And uh, the definition is of fear, an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or a threat. Wow, that's that's very powerful. Now, let's listen. Check these words that correlate to fear, guys. I'm going to start with them um, to give you guys terror, okay? You have fright, fearfulness, horror, alarm, panic, agitation, trepidation, and dread. Wow. Those are some powerful words that, that correlates with fear. And guys, you know. That God does not want us walking in fear. He does not. What does is, what is 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 says? The Bible says, hallelujah, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power 
and of love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. What does sound mind mean? What does that mean? Well, I took the liberty of looking that up in the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Holy Bible, and that is word G5198, and it's pronounced Hugiaeno, Hugiaeno, and that means, guys, uh, uncorrupt and healthy mind. Uh, um, you're mentally healthy. That's what that is. The Lord's telling us he's giving us a uncorrupt and, and a healthy mind. Because I'll read it again. It says, for, in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of the power of, of but of power and of love and of a sound mind, or an uncorrupt mind, or a healthy mind. Hallelujah. And that's what the Lord gives us. He doesn't want us walking in fear. Because I'll give you a quick, a quick story because I always use myself as an example. A year ago, God told me to leave my job. Now, mind you, I was doing pretty good, guys, financially. You know, I was a manager at Walmart. I was doing lift on the side, uh, doing other things, making money, doing pretty well for myself. And um, the Lord told me to leave. And I said, Lord God, hold on now. Wait, wait a minute. The devil is a lie. That's what I started saying. The devil is a lie. Glory to God. The devil. But deep down, I was like, oh, this is the Lord. This is God. He wants me to leave. Oh, my goodness. And guess how long it took me, guys, to listen and do what the Lord told me to do? It took me a year. That's sad to say, but guys, it took me a year. The Lord told me to leave. It took me a year. I was being a little punk, not believing, not trusting, not having faith, walking in fear and disobedience. And do you know, you know, I, what what I was using as an excuse? I said to myself, I said, okay, Father, if I leave, I'm a single dad. I have, you know, obligations to my daughters. How am I going to have health care for them? And Walmart provides all of that. Healthcare for myself, right? So I'm just, I look back on that now just and say, you idiot. Why would the Lord tell you to do something and not give you provision on how to accomplish what he's sending you out to do? That makes no sense. The Lord is not backwards. He's a God of order. And I understood that at that time, but I let my fear cripple me. And, and act like, and, and just all of a sudden, I, I forgot about that. Well, I've, I've gotten back to that. And I want you to understand that as well. The Father, we just read it. The Father in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, did not give us this spirit of fear. He does not want us walking in fear. You know, and, and like I was saying, I was saying, the devil is a lie, glory to God. Just, no. The, I was being fearful. The devil is a liar. But y'all know who said that first? Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. He talked about the devil being a lie. If you go to uh, the book of John, chapter 8, verse 44. Let's read that, guys. The Bible says, uh, and this is Jesus Christ talking to the Pharisees or the religious leaders of that day, of that time. The Bible says, uh, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father will ye do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. Hallelujah, the devil is a lie. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. Now this, this, is, this is why I brought y'all here. Listen to this. This is Jesus right here. He said, for he is a liar. That's what I'm saying. For the, the de Jesus said, the devil is a lie. Hallelujah. And the father of it. That's why that, that's powerful. The devil is a lie. And he wants you to walk in fear and be messed up. But that's why we have to do what 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15 says. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You see, when he tried to tempt our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 
He busts the devil all upside the head with the word. And that is what we have to do. When fear is coming at you, the father tells you to do something. Remember that he's going to give you provision to accomplish what he is sending you out to do. And you know that word, get that word in you so you can repeat that right back to the enemy, just like Jesus Christ, our Lord, did. That is how you win against the devil. This is a spiritual fight, guys. This is spiritual. You know, that's what this is. Jesus Christ is teaching us to be spiritual. That's what he's teaching us. Don't walk in fear. Don't allow the enemy to bust you all upside your head. Because, you know, without the Holy Spirit of God, without the Father's Spirit living within us, we are absolutely no match for the devil. None. We, he will kick our butts all up and down the street. He will whoop your butt all up and down the street. Him and all those evil spirits, those demons, those, those angels that sided with him that became fallen angels, became demons, they will whoop your butt all up and down the street. They, without the Holy Spirit, you in trouble. Okay? And if you go to the book of Luke, chapter 11, verse 13, what does the Bible teach us? The Bible teaches us that us as human beings being evil in nature can still give good gifts to our children. How much more would the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? You just have to ask for it. You don't have to go work 40 hours to do it. You don't have to cut the lawn of, of the Father in heaven. You don't have to go up to heaven and say, Father, I'm here to do your lawn so I can get this Holy Spirit. No, that's utter foolishness. You just ask for it. It's a gift from the Father. So we all need his spirit in order to have the power. The Bible teaches us that the greater one lives within us. Hallelujah. He is the greater one. The Bible says the greater one lives in us than he that lives in this world. And who was the one that lives in this world? The devil, the enemy, the one who we're talking about in this video. The one who weaponizes our fear against us. The devil is a dang on lie. Hallelujah. And I want to, to I want to, the next scripture I'm going to give you guys is in Revelations chapter 12, verse 10. And in this passage of scripture, it talks about the really what the setback of the, the ultimate setback for the devil. Uh, let's read. It says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, uh, now has come salvation and strength and the king and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Who is the accuser of our brethren? Satan. The devil, he was cast down, which, which accused them before our God day and night. So in this passage of scripture, it's talking about uh, salvation. How do we have salvation? Who was, the, who was the one who gave us salvation? Jesus Christ, our Lord, King, Master, and Savior, the, the, the obedient Son of Almighty God. That is the ultimate setback to the devil. That set him back. When Jesus was obedient, went to the cross, died, hallelujah, was risen on the third day triumphant from the grave, that set him, was the ultimate setback for him. That's the ultimate setback, the bloodshed, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, the blood set him back. The blood, the blood, the blood. We got to recognize the blood still has its power. Hallelujah. When Jesus went up to heaven, he set the blood on the mercy seat. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The blood of Jesus is powerful. Hallelujah. It's the reason that you and I will reconcile back to the Father. We got to recognize that the enemy is defeated. This pastor scripture teaches us that it's strength in the blood. It's power in the blood. It's power in the act of the crucifixion of salvation. That was the ultimate setback to his kingdom. Now we are to understand that we win. He loses. Now we are, are ordained or commissioned 
to uphold his defeat. Hallelujah. The, the Lord teaches us in 1 Peter. I'm going to give you all one more scripture and I'll let you guys go. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. The Bible says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. He tried to devour me with throwing this woman at me, throwing that woman at me, throwing this circumstance at me, trying to devour me. But glory to God, hallelujah, he couldn't because I'm filled with the Holy Spirit living within me, the greater one, hallelujah. And I'm grateful for that. And I know that if you are not careful, and if you walk in fear and you do not do what 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 says, that he is going to try to mess you up. But you've got to understand that the Father did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power <laughs> and love and of a sound mind, my brother and my sister. Never give up on your faith in our Almighty Father. Never allow the devil to lie to you because he is a liar and the father of it. All right. I love you guys. God bless you. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.